Hi guys, welcome to the Lightroom General Workflow Presets video. Um, these are a series of presets that I've created to help you work through an image in a quick and efficient manner. Um, a lot of photographers that use Lightroom um, use this system um, of having presets for all their general um, treatments that they do to, a, um, to an image. Sorry. So this is straight out of the camera, and you see on the right here, everything's set uh, to zero uh, as it was shot. Uh, and on the left, I've got 10 categories of presets, and this is what is included in the bundle. Um, they're laid out in the order that you would generally work through them. Um, so you'd start with exposure, then move on to contrast, then move on to highlights, etc. Um, so it's just a more efficient way of working. So rather than me grabbing the first one, the exposure slider, and thinking, do I want to go down, do I want to go up, I'm not sure, contrast, I don't know, up or down, uh, I don't know. Let me zero those off, go to my presets, start with number one, exposure. A series of decreases, a series of increases. Um, so 0.3 of a stop, 0.5 of um, a stop, and 0.75 of a stop, and then one. Uh, looking at this image, I think it could do with a 0.3 of a stop. And of course, you can see the instant uh, effect on the thumbnail at the top. So 0.3, sorry, 0.3 looks good, 0.5, maybe a bit too much. I'll go for a 0.3 increase. Done. Contrast. Do I want to be less contrasty or more contrasty? And depending on your image, sometimes I go to 80. On this image, I don't think that, I think it's too much. Um, maybe just a little, 15. Yeah, that's good. Highlights. My particular style is I like to bring down the highlights and open up the shadows. Um, so there's, again, there's various degrees that you can do this. I might try negative 60. And then the shadows, I'll open those up. Plus 40. There, yeah, that's looking good. Already, before and after. Before, after. I could stop there, it looks great. Um, on the whites, is your white clipping. So you're going to decrease your white levels or increase your white levels. I generally like to increase mine a little bit. And then decrease my blacks a little bit. Just to give it a pop, bit of contrast. Um, clarity. If it's a male portrait, you might want to add some clarity to bring out all those facial features. If it's a female, you want to, might want to decrease it to make the skin a bit softer. We've got both here. It's a portrait. Um, I might do a negative 15 clarity just to soften their features up a little bit there. Uh, and now, if you're increasing contrast up here, it can be to get too. It can be too saturated. It can be too in your face. So here you've got vibrance and saturation. You can kind of bring that under control a little bit. Um, so again, rolling through depends on the effect I want to go for. I think just a negative 10 on this, just to bring that, just to tame that down a little bit. And then saturation. I can put a little bit of saturation back in. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit down the sound vibrance, up on the saturation. And then I've got a couple of settings here for noise reduction and sharpening. Um, this was taken at ISO 100. I don't need any noise reduction. Um, I could apply the sharpening, which is always... There we go. See that pop out there? I, I generally apply sharpening to all my images. Um, straight out of the camera, they are a little bit soft. That's it. Photo's done. Um, I might use one of the... Lightroom general prefet, uh, <laughs> preset, sorry. I like vignetting on my images. Vignette one. There we go, slight vignette, you'd hardly ever notice. Before, after, that's my image done. And of course, if you like, if you've just worked through these yourself and you like this particular set of um, slider combinations, you can hit this little plus button here and create your own preset. Check all or check none and just check the things that you want to apply to your preset and then click create. You can then apply that preset on a future date on future images. Indeed, that's how I've built up my library. Um, and of course, you could use this. You had a series of images open at the bottom here. You could sync those images um, 
So I sync those settings across those images and apply them straight away. Um, you could also apply some other images. Um, sorry, presets. Here I've got my presets that are available in my Weddings and Portraits bundle. Um, this particular image, I might want to add a little bit of sunlight to the top of the image um, to make it a little bit brighter. So I've got one here called Added Sunlight. I click on that. There, just makes it a little bit brighter with the top light. That's my image done. Before, after. Really speeds up your workflow. Um, great to have. You could, of course, set these up. It's going to take you time to go through and set them up. I've done it for you. Small payment. And you've got everything you need there to create some fantastic images and speed up your workflow. Cheers, guys.